and I'm trying not to but curse. But you're forgetting about the main thing. The main thing is we have a secure doc portal where our clients who hire us upload the documents. I found the quote discrepancy by reading the two loan agreements, by reading the declination letter. All of this to figure this out took me 28 seconds. That's 28 seconds. Less than 30 seconds, more than 10 seconds. And action. <laughs> SBA, you're an absolute disaster. It's just the level of incompetence, number one. Number two, to all you small business owners who are going to apply for natural disaster loans, especially if you're in the Houston area in the coming weeks, you have to be extra, extra, extra because these people at SBA are complete we have a client in California who hired us. He was declined last year for a natural disaster loan. He was just declined again this year for a second natural disaster loan. And the SBA in their declination writes, there are significant discrepancies between the information in your case file and the information provided on your COVID-19 SBA EIDL loan application. Now here's why the SBA is populated with Number one, in 2020, he got a COVID-19 EIDL, April 2020. Now, as many people know, when the SBA increased the loan limits later on, you could request what was called a loan modification for increase. This client did that in 2021. But what the <laughs> at the SBA did, they gave him a second different loan where everybody else just had a modification. You have to get the initial loan and it is modified and increased. Clearly, that is the reason why there are, quote, discrepancies. Okay, so that's the first group of at the SBA. The second group of is in 2023 when he applies for the natural disaster loan and gets declined because that who worked on the file at the SBA didn't take the time to go through the file and go, oh, look, there's two different loans. Oh, let me call the loan applicant and ask him this. By the way, he told me the other day before he hired us, no one has ever called him from the SBA, not last year and not this year, to discuss these discrepancies. Okay. The third group of SBA is this year when he applies for the other natural disaster loan and the same thing happens. So SBA, this is where you fail small business owners time and time and time again by hiring people who are completely incompetent. You know, last week, Linda and I took my niece and her kids out for pizza and I got home that night and I made a vow to myself to stop cursing. That evaporated Monday morning as soon as I had to start working with the SBA again, okay? And, and I'm a, a 35 year veteran of the financing industry. I can't imagine how somebody who owns any type of business where they have to deal with the SBA, it's no wonder people can't get approved for loans with the SBA.